But first, let's get back to trade here because it's a little crazy, right? I mean, first of all, the president was out there saying no on TPP over and over and over again. In fact, I want you to see this clip of him talking about TPP and how bad it would be, along with NAFTA, for our economy right here. We are going to stop the TPP, totally renegotiate NAFTA, one of the worst trade deals ever made by mankind, TPP. Hopefully I'm there, I will end it so fast, and we'll make deals with individual countries, not this big web of complicated stuff, over 5,000 pages that nobody from our country even reads. You know, it, it's interesting what he was saying there because uh, there was a lot of criticism. In fact, even Hillary Clinton during that campaign came out and said, you know, maybe we needed to fix parts of TPP and she'd be willing to do that. But at issue here is really how we negotiate these trade agreements, whether it's TPP, whether it's NAFTA, whether it's simply an agreement with one country. I mean, you look at China right now, and I've said this before, charging 25 percent on our cars, 65 percent on our wheat, while we charge zero on any wheat they have coming here, not that they have a lot, or 2.5 percent on cars that they have coming here. These agreements they don't work for both sides. I mean, there may have been a time when we figured China was small enough, its economy was small enough, that they weren't a threat. But that's changed a lot. It's changed a lot in recent years. And now we're losing hundreds of billions of dollars worth of our intellectual property, our technology to China, who's out there blatantly stealing it, and we don't do anything about it. The WTO doesn't do anything about it. How can that be? You know, I want you to see this graphic right here. This looks at the investment, venture capital funds, okay, that are targeting Chinese companies, that are investing in Chinese companies. And if you look at that red line in that graphic, right around 2013, you really start to see an uptick, 2014, an uptick in the amount of money that's going into Chinese companies. I mean, if you look back to the year 2000 there, it was primarily all U.S. companies, and then it starts to change, and it changes, and it changes. You know, back in the early part of the last decade, you saw that we were only investing a minimal amount, or the venture capitalists were only putting a little bit into Chinese companies. Now it's nearly 32 percent. So things have changed, and if we are not careful, if we are not careful, we're all going to be working for the Chinese someday. So these are things that we need to be thinking about right now. And I know it's painful and I know nobody wants to do it because it would just be easier to keep selling over there and keep our market open uh, and allow them to take advantage of us so long as it's good for the quarter. But if it's not good long term, then we have a problem.